What is up guys, this is Darklight Reactions coming back at you with another one today guys. So, I have found a hidden gem of a game that I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about today. Uh, it reminds me of the old original Doom on PC as well as I think it's called Super, Super Dungeon Crawler. Um, it's actually a lot of fun. So, the game that we're going to be talking today about is Heroes of Shadow Guard. It was released August 3rd, 2016 on Steam. It has mixed reviews. Most of them are positive. A lot of them do complain about little bugs and issues here and there. I think, I, I could be wrong, but I think the developer updated it uh, like a, f a few times over the last few years, but has ultimately abandoned the game. It's still a lot of fun. It has pretty easy achievements to get, so uh, he here's a little bit about what it is before I show you guys some gameplay, all right? Experience both sides of dungeon crawling. Navigate de deadly labyrinth dungeons in des in and design your own in this groundbreaking MMO. Unlock new heroes, new gear, and a new labyrinth guards. Conquer single-player sagas, climb multiplayer leaderboards, and challenge friends to custom matches. So, this is actually really cool because it has uh, like a regular storyline that you can play, right? So you can uh, play your own uh, dungeon crawl, like different like single player like dungeons. Uh, you can also challenge your friends, so um, you know you can build your own dungeon and challenge them to try to like get through and get to the loot. Um, and it's really cool. So I'm gonna show you uh, some of those things. So this is my dungeon, okay? This is my my labyrinth. Um, <clears throat> and basically this is how it's set up okay so here's my labyrinth right um, here's the chest and the goal is that the player has to try to get to both of these chests now here is a, a trap uh, that heals my guards and then here is another trap it's a fire trap that like sprays them with fire um, and you can set this up however you want like you can click and build walls uh, and, and like delete them if you want you can paint it whatever color you want and you can gradually upgrade it which gives you ability to put more guards now your guards are like this right okay so check this out I can assign a minion right to that slot I can also I requested here okay and then here I have to upgrade uh, the labyrinth to do that but it's really cool because your minions, your guard team, is the team that basically will fight with you, right? That's, see, here's team two, here's team one, here's team one, uh, here's team three. I don't, I don't have any available minions anymore, so this is like, this is my team. And this is my uh, chess guard. Basically, your chess guard is like your boss, okay? So I like how cool this is because you can add different little things here and there and like I said it's a lot of fun. You can add stairs so you can like make it multiple floors if you want. It's really cool and you know it's a lot of fun. So I just wanted to show you that. So that's your dungeon right? Basically that's the area that you build your stuff um, and uh, hope that nobody attacks it. Um, you can do various Awards as you guys can see different things you can get. Oh, see I just got an achievement too. dungeon constructor um, So there's various different things you can do you can di get different awards and these awards you can use on various things as well You can also build land and conquer territories, which is pretty cool um, You can like see I can move my lot there. I can move my lot here. You can expand see look at this this whole map like all oh, this whole area, which is actually really cool um and then you have your town. I will show you the town here in a minute, right? So, hold on. Also, you have workers that work for you. You have your miner who will mine gold gradually. Um, you can level up using the gold you got. So now he can carry maximum, you know, gold. Also, his his uh, rate per hour. So now he does 40 per hour. And I can hold a maximum of 90, which is cool, right? Um, and then now I have to send him, what do I want him to do? I'm going to have him mine gold again. You can also have him mine stone if you want. He can focus on getting stone, which you can use for various upgrades. Um, and since I can get gold in dungeons, I'm going to just let him mine stone for now. So now gradually, every hour, he will mine these resources for you while you are away from the game. They will fill up. You can come back and collect them at any time and use them on various different things, which is really cool. 
your scout also does uh, various things. So the scout can get resources, which is really cool. So then you can continue. And you can have the, the scout search for a favor, search for essence, search for gems, uh, or search for material. I can talk, I swear, materials. So we're going to have her go and get materials again. Um, you can use this to finish this, or you can finish it times 10, um, which will give you better rewards. It takes her two hours, and um, once I get my den level up, which is this here, um, I see, and you use stone to upgrade your den level, So, um, and I can finish it, so we will quick finish it. As you see now, I have a, another worker, so I'm going to send him to mine gold, right? Uh, that's what he's doing now. I will upgrade his axe. I will upgrade his bag. And now I will wait. I can still upgrade them one more time. But basically, the, your den, uh, the more uh, workers you have, the more gold you can collect at one time. The higher level your den, the more your your workers can bring back, carry, etc. It's pretty easy to understand. Um, so that's that. And always make sure you check to make sure you get your... Uh, you know, your awards. Be <laughs> Look at that. I got a bunch of achievements, as you guys can see. Uh, and I maximize this. This is done. Uh, I got a legendary item. Uh, if you want to check your items, you can go to your bag here, and you can see. Uh, so this is gear, and my characters can wear this gear. And then usables here, and then materials. This is a legendary item. This device is said to raise the dead sought after, um, you know. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this can be used in, like, crafting stuff. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I will show you the town real quick, and then I will show you guys uh, some uh, gameplay and what it looks like. And that'll be this video. I will probably do an hour-long playthrough video of this, uh, like a Let's Play here in the future. But this is your town, as you guys can see, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know why people complain about it. This this is like an old style RPG to me. It's really cool. So you can click on this and your character will go inside, which I don't think the graphics are bad at all. You can kind of look around and see what's going on. And then you can go and you can do various things. You can uh, go to the shop here and you can buy various different items using these. There are two styles of currency. There is these, I, I just call them um, mining coins, purple mining coins, and then there's gold. Okay, And then there's also uh, uh, gems. Okay. And you can buy various different things. So, I like to buy these once every time um, because these will help me in the dungeon. So, I will show you guys that here uh, in a little bit. And then this is experience. So, I'm going to buy three of these and show you what uh, those are, right? You can also buy paints from this person as well, uh, which you can use in your uh, dungeon as well. And then you can either click return or you can click exit and you'll go back out into the middle, right? And then you can go to other various areas. You can go to the pet trader and buy tre pets and upgrade pets. You can go to the inn and get various different quests and things to do. So you can click on this person, you can check in. Uh, every single day you want to check in because when you check in, you get into the inn, you get, as you just saw there, I got rewards. The more times in a row without missing that you check in the better rewards you get so it's actually really cool uh, they reward you for playing the game um, there's different people you can talk here you can get favors see um, heroes fight harder for those they favor uh, we can help you earn their favor for a price so for 140 gold uh, I can make my favor for these people go up uh, basically favor is you know how much does the character like you therefore you know are they willing to fight for you, you know, more? Um, like I said, there's various different things. You can go to the blacksmith for stuff. You can go to the gold. Uh, uh, wow, I swear I can speak English. Then you can go to the faction hall. Faction hall is where you manage your faction. Uh, I like to go and donate gold every day to my faction. You can invite your friends to join your fac faction. It's got, you know, pretty cool faction name here. The, the crest and the emblem here. I like the graphics. I don't think they're bad at all. I'm going to be honest. You can recruit. So... Uh, quick join players will join eligible factions, factions so uh, I can uh, do a heavy recruit or a light recruit, which is cool. So I'm saving up to do a light recruit, uh, heavy recruit here. 
I can also do funding. So I'm going to donate 500, right? And there we go. Boom. I donated the gold for the day, which is really cool. And there's different stuff you can do here. I just like the fact that it has gold. Like, I like it. I like this old style graphics, you know? I think, it, you know, maybe I'm simple, but like I said, it's a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're going to exit, and I'm going to show you guys some gameplay. Um, those of you who have played Doom will understand what I mean by uh, the fact that it is going to, when you look at it, it's going to remind you of, like, Doom. Uh, as you can see, you could do daily quests and get points to earn more, you know, as I call them, minor coins, you know, the purple coins, uh, the currency to use on various different things. And while doing them, like I said, you get upgrades. So just playing every single day, you get all these different rewards. You get gold, you get potions, you get experience potions, you can get items, uh, you can get, you know, the minor coins and gems and, and etc. So if you play for an hour or an hour and a half each day, it's cool. So now I'm gonna, you can either find an opponent which will take you to somebody's, you know, thing, or you can just play, and you can do the single player campaign. I'm on quest number four, right? So you can also do what this, what's called uh, blinks. Blinks allow you to instantly complete an already defeated quest. You can collect blinks from the village keeper in daily. So I'll show you how that works first. Real quick, I'm just gonna do blink, right? All right, pow. We're gonna blink twice. Now, I got a bunch of resources, I got a bunch of experience, and my characters have leveled up. Each time they level up, see, my attack goes up, my health goes up, which is actually really cool. And then I can go back here, right? I'll show you battle, hold on. Um, and I can go to heroes. Going to heroes, I can equip various different items if I would like. So we will go here and see if he has any other items available. Uh, I do not. Uh, oh, yeah, here's that, okay. No, f uh, shoes yet for him. Um, yeah, okay. So this is how you check equipment for your characters, okay? You just kind of go through, look at stuff, see what you got. And then what I like, too, you can go to info like this, and you can use these experience potions I have. So I'm going to use max, right? So there we go gives me up to that amount of experience basically you want your characters as high as you can get them because the higher level they are the better that they will do so you can also upgrade their skills using money as well so you can make your character stronger which I do like so we are gonna upgrade him two different times because he's our main dude and I'm gonna go show you guys some gameplay now alright so check this out go to attack right go to play we will do quest number four um, and I'll just try to my best to finish this quest quick for you guys to see because like I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a long video now what I do like is you can move one of two ways you can click forward with the mouse like this or you can use your W A S D keys I like the keys because it gives me uh, faster movement you can click the map the map kind of shows you as you go which directions you can go in and will gradually you will discover different areas so we're gonna go this way first basically your goal in this is to survive now here's the the fighting part okay um, let me make sure that I'm out of the way hold on guys let me just check something real quick where am I at okay I'm generally out of the way I my, I know that looks a little bit annoying, but bear with me, okay? So, in order to attack, here's what you can do. You can either do a regular attack or you can do a skilled attack. I always start with regular and save my skilled for, you know, mini bosses and such. Um, so, I'm going to hit this guy. I hit him for that amount of damage. Now, I'm going to use skills because this is my mage, and I'm going to use the Static Storm, which attacks both enemies and does a decent amount of damage. I'm also going to do... Uh, this here which instantly deals damage to a target and blinds them which reduces their uh, chance of hitting you so we're gonna hit this dude with that he actually died okay now he hit me right and then I'm gonna do a regular sword attack and I'm gonna do a regular attack by her I got experience gems uh, and gold and those enemies will spawn randomly throughout as you move forward um, as you see, here's the first chest, 
and it's guarded. So sometimes it has traps like that that poison you. Always make sure you have uh, an antidote or uh, some potions to heal yourself, especially mana potions so you can make sure your he healers are able to heal you. And then what I like to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and attack him. I'm going to do Emma's uh, Static Storm skill. And then I'm going to go ahead and do uh, his uh, Blinding Attack, which is Divine Fury. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack him. And then skills. Um... No, you know what? That was a mistake. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, not what I want. No. There we go. I healed her, which is good. And now I can use his skill. Check this out. And I like this attack. It's called Rejuvenating Strike. I, I do a certain amount of damage to an enemy, and I also, like, seep their, their life as well. So we'll move forward. We open up the chest, which is great. You can click on stuff like this sometimes. See, sometimes you find hidden items. So I always check the potions, like the pots and stuff on here because you can find different items. And then, like I said, as you gradually go, you'll unlock different areas. These question marks are can either be a good thing or a bad thing. And it kind of just shows you which way to go. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically the game. I highly recommend checking it out. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm having a blast playing it, like I'm not going to lie. Um, you can also use items, which is cool. So, I use a normal bomb, damages the enemies. Skills, we will use her static storm, which is great. Killed everybody, boom, done, bam. Um, I should have gotten some uh, mana, but I didn't. Uh, that's gonna come back and bite me in the butt You also have to make sure that you oh no wait a minute. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't equip her with any that's not good um, But anyways guys, I highly recommend this game. Ooh Hold on There's another chest there, and I don't know if it's the main chest or not, but this green thing will heal enemies um, That are in range so you want to make sure that you find them and destroy them. I also like to search the whole thing because you can miss out on experience and stuff as you guys can see. So we're gonna do rejuvenating strike. We're gonna strike him. We're gonna do regular attack. We're gonna split, do damage to him. We're gonna do regular attack and we're gonna do damage to him. Mm. Take him out. Attack. Take him out. Mm. And there you have it. Now, again, I highly recommend this game. Like I said, I think it's a lot of fun. I just took a picture, if you guys are wondering, because uh, I'm going to use that for part of my thumbnail in the future. So, like I said, I think this game is a lot of fun. I think it has a lot of different things that you are capable of doing. I do highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking this game out, I will be sure to link it down below, and you guys can gladly go check it out for yourselves. It's completely free. It's a lot of fun. It does have a little bit of bugs, okay? But from what I understand, the developer did do their the best to try to uh, fix those bugs as, as accordingly as they could. Um, like I said... I highly recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, I have no complaints when it comes to it. If you die in the dungeon, you still get to keep your experience and you can try again. So it's not like you have super penalty in order to pay. You can leave any single time. You can also do what's called instant. You can complete battle with computed hero actions, which is cool as well. Like I said, I like this game a lot. I think it's awesome. So I highly recommend it. That's all I'm going to say on that one. Um... But yeah, if you guys, like I said, want to check this game out for yourselves, it'll be linked in the description down below. Uh, I am currently, like I said, trying to find other areas to search for, but I think I pretty much got it covered. So, um, 
yeah, I highly recommend checking this game out, guys. Uh, be sure to check the link in the description, download it. It's available on PC. It's also uh, a mobile port. A lot of people said because it's a mobile port, it's trash. I like it. I don't have many complaints on it. I'm going to be honest. You know, I don't mind mobile games on PC as long as they're not like super loaded with ca with cash grabs and and games that try to like just get you to buy their crap. You know, I hate when games do push that, and this one doesn't. You know, I mean, you can buy extra stuff for it. You can buy in-game stuff. I think it's cool. I don't know. Like I said, it's got mixed reviews. My review is positive. I'm going to be 110% honest. I got no complaints. As I said, um, pretty easy to understand. Like I said, no complaints here. Um, definitely recommend you guys checking it out. Sweet. Restored some health. Split between the heroes. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and use that. Quick healed my heroes. And yeah, um, definitely let me know what you guys think. And definitely check this game out for yourselves. Uh, I'm going to go and continue this mission, guys. As always, I'm Darklight. You guys have a great day, alright? Alright, guys. Love you so much. Peace out.